Welcome to Spirit Box Adventures, a place where the dead speak. Today's session is with Shannon Watts. In this session, she continues to work out her feelings and her anger and emotion towards her husband and what he did. But she also does something quite interesting. Such an amazing woman. She talks about starting a vlog of her emotions as she tries to heal so that others who are facing abuse or possibly even die from abuse have a roadmap for how to handle the pain in the afterlife and get through it as she hopes to do someday. I'm going to try not to talk over you. <laughs> I've got a bit of a cold, so I hope the viewers don't mind if I cough from time to time. And I hope Shannon doesn't mind. Shannon, is there any things you'd like to say to start off this session? Um, do you have anything to say about the new, the new in, um, developments in the case against your husband, Chris? You know, one of the things that's been kind of bothering me, and I don't know if it's bothering you, is that when you look at news stories now, they talk about you and the children sort of as a reference. Kind of like, this is the man who did this, let's talk about him. And I know nothing's going to bring you and the children back, but you're almost a sidebar now. Wow. That sounded angry. How do you feel about that? Are you still very angry? I know that might be a dumb question. I know that I missed our session last week because I had a cold, a very bad cold. Are you feel are, are you feeling any better? Do you, do you have a plan about what you're going to do?
Do you know, it, it, it's, it seems to me that every time he tells a story about what happens, it slightly changes. Do you think he'll ever tell the truth? I, I have a question that, if you don't mind my asking, honey, I have a question that maybe you haven't thought about, because because where you are, time probably is different. In a few weeks, in a few weeks here on Earth, outside of where you are, it's going to be Christmas. Yeah, it's going to be Christmas. Yeah, it's Christmas already. Are you going to see your children for Christmas? Are you going to try to spend some time with your children for Christmas? Have you even thought about that? One, uh, one, I says, I guess one cold comfort you have is that he won't be seeing his children for Christmas. He'll never see his children for Christmas again. I have a question for you. Um, it came out in the news recently, um, or on some gossip sheet, I don't know where I heard it, <clears throat> that some girl said that uh, she met him up on Instagram, I think it was, and they hooked up for S&M type uh, sexual encounter. And she only freaked out and ran off when he did something, I can't remember what it was. But he did something really nasty to her, and she just, like, couldn't handle it and ran off. What do you think of that, Shannon? Do you think it's true? This, it, this is when you were married to him. Do you think that now where you are, do you think that could be true? Oh, I got some. I'm sorry to be. Is it okay for me to speak now? Okay. Who do you think... You mentioned Kathy a couple of times. Who's Kathy? Did you ever meet Kathy? <coughs> from, from, I got another question. From where you are now, 
Yeah, and where you can see things, and you can see his soul. Was he having affairs all the time, or was this a new thing? And how many affairs did he have? What do you need to tell us this week? You asked for this session, so I assume that there's something you need to tell us. What is it? Do you think someday when you talk this all out, you'll feel better and be able to cross over? What is your purpose of staying here? So I'm going to ask again, what is your true reason for staying here? I have one more question my viewers would like to know before I go, if that's okay. Some people, some people are asking, how come you're here talking to the ghost blocks and not around your parents or your brother or your best friends? Could you answer that? Your father is so devastated, and I'm sure your rest of your family is. Is your father's pain what of is your father's pain part of what's holding you here? Is there anything else that you want the world to know right now?
Is there anything you want um, to tell Chris or you want him to know right now? Is there anything I can do to help you? <coughs> do you want me to keep posting these things on YouTube for the people to hear? me to ask. Oh, I have a question. Is, is baby Nick with you as an, is baby Nick with you still as an unborn infant or has he become a born, a born being? Let me ask that again. Is baby Nick a, an unborn child in heaven? Like a soul to be born again somewhere? Like a reincarnation? Or something like that? Or is baby Nick an actual child? Like like a little child running around in heaven? Right. I know that the last time I talked to you, you got very upset when I told you that some people were doubting baby Nick's parentage, and I want to apologize to you for that. I'm very sorry. I'm very, very sorry that I mentioned that <coughs> question that many people were saying on the, on the internet. I know what it's like to be a mom. I have four kids. And even before they're born, you love them like crazy. 
Isn't that true? And it hurts if anyone says anything bad about them. Isn't it? You, you know that. Anyway. <clears throat> I suppose I, um, it's a good time to stop. I just wanted to ask you how you felt, how you were doing, <clears throat> if, you've, if you've had any changes in your afterlife. Anything you wish to talk about? And you did mention that you're worried about your mom <clears throat> on the other box. Are you feeling a little less angry? <laughs> at least, at least happy enough to, or at least hap happy enough to, or are you feeling a little less angry? At least a little bit less angry that you can drop, drop it down a notch so that you can be with your family, at least your family here on Earth for the holidays. Maybe visit your mom and dad, your brother, your family, your friends. I know you're with them in spirit, but can you get even closer without the anger so, so they won't feel pain? I hope you can. That would mean trying to let go of your anger and feeling of revenge, just shelving it for a little while. Do you think you can? Yeah, try, just for the season. Okay? You go, girl. I think you can do it. Because they mean so much to you. And you mean so much to them. And they're not ready to they're not ready to spend a holiday without you. And you need to be there more than just memory. Okay? So when when do you want to talk again? Okay. We'll talk again in a week. And you want to use this box or the other box? Oh, I thought I heard this box. Do you want to use this Echo Vox or the P box, the the PSB box? What, real quick? I'm, I can't understand what you're saying, but I will say goodbye, okay? Bye, sweetie. See you next week.